Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be a love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising. So without further ado, let's get into it. Guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels, please give me clear and concise messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and what they need to know regarding their love life at this time. What is the focus for Leo's love life? What does Leo need to know regarding their love life at this time? Okay, please continue to protect us, watch over us, and guide us always. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so we're starting off with the Ace of Wands, Fire Sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo reading. So this is your energy I'm getting. You want a passionate new beginning here. Okay, let's see. What other messages do we have for Leo regarding their love life at this time? What is Leo's love life focus? Okay. Okay, so we have here the Four of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. Two fours here. Okay. Okay, so somebody may have recently been in solitude feeling exiled or just needed like a little break and i'm seeing it's because with the four of pentacles they were just keeping a lot of emotions to themselves this could have been you leo okay also maybe you didn't want to give up control and you're having an issue in the relationship that you're in so you guys kind of had like a time out and, and I'm seeing here, like, you guys do normally have that passionate uh, relationship. But there's a lot of a lot of fire here, okay? You want to make sure it's not just based on passion, okay? It, it's not just a sexual relationship. And it's not just, um, like, um, some... How, how can I explain it? Some people are attracted to, like, that passion, like where, you know, you get each other fired up and then, you know, you have this hot sex and then you make up, you know, but then it's like if you're constantly in that cycle of drama and bullshit and it's like, even though you have this passion and, you know, you guys may butt heads and have that fire and that heat, it may not, it, it could eventually fizzle out. Okay. So if you guys fight a lot because you're butting heads, even though you make up and it's great and there's still a lot of love and passion there. It's like you need a break sometimes, okay? And you, you may have an issue with uh, giving up control. And that could be why you get so, so fired up. Or this could be the person that you're dealing with, okay? So this can go both ways, excuse me. If you guys have met Isis before, the female husky, she cries to come in, then I let her in, then she cries to get out. She drives me nuts. I love her dearly, but she drives me nuts. Okay. I don't want any more interruptions. So, Leo. The fire and the passion is there, but sometimes, you know, you guys, like I said, you may need a break because it, there may be a, some control issue, either yours or theirs. And some, you know, you don't want to give up the control or they want to give up the, or they don't want to give up the control. And so then you guys like kind of go on a break, a timeout, so to speak. Okay. So let's see. What other messages do we have for Leo regarding their love life? Please clarify the Ace of Wands, the Four of Swords, and the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so with expanded awareness here, you're starting to see things differently. Now, it could be in a good way where you're starting to open your eyes more in a positive way towards this relationship, or you may be starting to see things in a more negative way where you may be viewing this person as not wanting to give up control and needing a timeout, you know? Ancient wisdom. Okay, so with ancient wisdom, let's see, I'm going to actually look that up for this reading. 
Let's see, what do we have here for Ancient Wisdom Crystal? So I want to give you guys the best messages. Ancient Wisdom, okay. Awakening to Ancient Wisdom. Finding support and guidance for the future. Yeah, so you've been doing a lot of sitting down. Like while you're on break here, you know, in that time out. Because you're trying to find support and guidance for the future. Developing a deeper connection to your heart. Awakening of our divine connection to our planet. Okay, I feel this is more relevant to you with um, guidance for the future. So this is, like I said, this could fizzle out. This passion could fizzle out. And you're just trying to, when you have these time out periods, you're actually trying to go within and see, okay, well, is this going to last into the future? Is this something I want to keep doing? Okay. Okay. All right, so I'm going to actually go to the Power of Love deck now and see what messages do we have for Leo regarding their love life and this reading. Do we have for Leo? Last shuffle. Any other messages for Leo regarding the love life on this reading? Okay, thank you. All right, so we have here virtue. You acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourage others to grow. Expression. You are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love. Okay, so another message I'm getting through is you guys may have like those hot-headed times and you have those timeouts, but because the love and passion is here, you may be choosing to keep your thoughts and emotions to yourself because of this, which is not healthy either. Okay, so you may start to express yourself more so that you don't keep it in because it's not healthy to keep it in to you or your partner. Cooperation. In your quest to manifest the energy of love, you realize that every person and experience has value. So yeah, you're doing a lot of thinking here, ancient wisdom, when, when you're in those timeouts. Okay? That doesn't go there. That goes here. And then... With each thing that happens, it expands your awareness as to where this relationship is going. Uh, like it says here, what did it say here with the future? I saw, I, sworn I saw something here that said the future. Oh, that was just messages in my mind then. Okay. All right, so now let's go to the Love Oracle deck for you, Leo. Okay, and see what messages do we have for Leo regarding their love life at this time. Please clarify the Ace of Wands, the Four of Swords, and the Four of Pentacles for Leo at this time. I don't know why February 4th just popped into my head. So whoever February 4th resonates with... Also, if something happens on January 4th in the past for some of you. Okay, not enough. Frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, egos, fear, ego issues, and jealousy. Okay, so yeah, there's some serious issues here for some of you. Fear, ego, and self-sabotage is, is jumping out. Not today, not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call a person, boundaries, and still angry. Yeah, this is the time out. Not today is your four swords. You just exile solitude. Either you or they are like, not today, I don't want to hear it. Somebody is feeling here like, th this could actually be what you or your person, this is the emotions that they're feeling, that they're keeping to themselves, that they're not enough. They're frustrated in the relationship. They're, they're lacking confidence. Maybe even doing some self-sabotage subconsciously because they have fear or ego issues, okay? Or even jealousy. If this person has like a good family surrounding, friends, 
you know, they just got a lot of good things going for them and maybe you or they don't, however it resonates either way, that can create some jealousy. Sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, and focusing out. So even when there's a timeout, they're still watching, either you or they. I'm seeing like through social media. Yeah, there, there's definitely some toxicity here. But um, I, I see you want growth where they want growth. They like want to try to do their best to make this work. But I'm not seeing if it will or will not. Okay, so if this resonates with you and you would like a private reading to get more in-depth responses and outcomes in regards to your private life, please go to zenwithinme.com and you can purchase any one of those readings um, for a, an answer, for an outcome, if this resonates with, you know, what you want to know. Okay, so I'm going to now go to the Love and Connection deck. Okay, so what messages do we have for Leo? Okay, thank you. So these are two-sided cards. Sometimes the good is hidden. If this is like this, you're keeping things to yourself. Okay, find the good in what they said or asked. It's always there, even if they didn't mean for it to be there. Find the good in what they said or asked. So I feel for you, you really need to listen to what this person says. Sometimes the good is hidden. Maybe they have to learn how to communicate better. Or you, you know, either way. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we got here. It is not as if you need anyone. For as long as you wish to keep them in your life, whoever they may be, understanding them as opposed to changing them will widely improve the chances that they'll wish to keep you in their life. So don't try and change each other. Accept one another for who they are because you don't need anyone. You may want them around, but you don't need them. Honor thyself. Just curious. When was the last time you looked into a mirror and addressed yourself as gorgeous, magnificent, or sublime, darling? It matters. Yeah. Honor thyself. And see me in their eyes. Whenever conferring with another, either face to face or across the miles, whether a human being, departed spirit, or sentient tree, Always speak to the highest within. It makes such a difference. So see me in their eyes. Always speak to the highest within. So make sure you talk to each other with lots of love and respect. So I'm, the message I'm getting with this see me in their eyes is like, how would you want someone to talk to you? So make sure that you speak to one another kindly and lovingly and respectfully okay all right so that's all i have for you leo thank you so much for liking sharing watching and subscribing if you're interested in any private readings or spell work please check out zenwithinme.com peace and love i will see you in the next reading